everyone and welcome to Worship Together. Thank you for joining us as we explore God's big story. To begin our worship, I'm going to do a big shout out. Are you ready to join in? God is faithful. All the time. Amen. So let's have a look on the timeline to see where in God's big story our story comes from today. is about one of the people of God. His name is Jeremiah and he was a prophet. Today, Liz is our storyteller. I'm Liz and today I'm going to read you Down in the Well. Down in the well, deep down in the well, deep down in the very bottom of the well, there was no water. But down in the well, deep down in the well, deep down in the very bottom of the well, there were spiders and slugs and slithering snakes. And the prophet Jeremiah. What was he doing down in the well, deep down in the very bottom of the well? He was waiting, that's what, and wondering and wishing for someone to pull him out. God had whispered in the prophet's ear, you see, and Jeremiah had passed on the message to the king. Change your ways, do what's right, or I will let your enemies, the Babylonians, conquer your country and turn your people into slaves. The king did not want to hear this message, and he didn't want anyone else to hear it either. So he had God's messenger, poor Jeremiah, drop down in the well, deep down in the well, deep down in the very bottom of the well. It was dark down there, too dark for Jeremiah to see. But it wasn't too dark for God. He saw Jeremiah brush a spider off his face He watched as the snakes slithered closer. And then God did something. He whispered into the ear of one of the king's servants, a man called Ebed Melech, and he told him to go and fetch his dirty laundry. Down in the well, deep down in the well, Deep down to the very bottom of the well dropped Ebed Medic's laundry. And it landed right on Jeremiah's head. Hey, hollered the prophet, what's this? My clothes, called Ebed Melek. Everything but what I'm wearing on my back. I've tied them together like a rope. Now wrap them around you quickly and I will pull you out. And so, more determined than ever to pass on God's message, the prophet rose up from the well, right up from the well, right up from the very bottom of the well. Thanks, Liz. Oh, imagine what it must have been like for Jeremiah down in that deep, dark well with all those spiders. Let's find out what Bishop Jill has got to say 
about that story and trusting God. Thanks, Lisa. This is a story from right in the middle of the Bible, the story of the people of God. And it's about a prophet called Jeremiah, and he's one of my favourites. He lived at quite a challenging time in the history of the people when they were taken um, away, taken into exile, into a place called Babylon. And in this place, under pressure, Jeremiah heard some really fiery words from God. And it may be if you're watching this and you find yourself in a time of pressure, for whatever reason that is, those can be the very moments when it's like we're more tuned in to God. And some of my very favourites, almost like life verses in the Bible, come from the book of Jeremiah. Here's one for me. This is Jeremiah chapter 23. Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, like a hammer that breaks a rock into pieces? Jeremiah felt the word of God burning so strongly in his heart. It felt like a hammer to address all the bad stuff that was going on. And as he spoke out, as he spoke about against this very dark regime, he found himself under a lot of pressure. In fact, one day they got so fed up with him that he ended up down in a well. He was thrown into a well. The plan was that he would just waste away and die. Maybe you found yourself in a very dark place. Maybe you've even been down a cave, you know, when they switch all the lights off and you can't even see your hand in front of your face. Sometimes we're in those really dark places and in this dark place, the word of God just continued to burn in Jeremiah's heart. He kept calling out to God because God had promised him, like he promises us, this is Jeremiah 29. Um, he, says to, he says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Even in a really dark place, Jeremiah still heard good words from God. And as he called out to God, did you hear in the story, um, the servant, Elam McMelech, heard from God and he came down to rescue Jeremiah. Complete miracle. Those little miracles happen all the time. As we cry out to God, it's almost like he drops a message to somebody and that you might think it's a coincidence, but they come and help us. So as we look at God's big story today, if you find yourself in a dark place like Jeremiah, still shout out to God. He always hears he wants good things for us. And he promises that by Jesus, he will always come and rescue us. Thanks, Bishop Jill. Well, now it's time for us to pray together. And I've had a little bit of a crazy idea. So I hope your teachers don't mind, but we're going to, yeah, like I say, do something a little bit crazy for our prayers this morning. And I'm going to explain what we're going to do and then you can start doing it. So wait for a moment, okay? Now, when Jeremiah was down in the well, how did he get out? Well, that was because the clothes were all joined together. Do you remember? And the other person in the story dropped them down into the well and pulled Jeremiah out. So for our prayers, we're going to take our arms out of our jumper or cardigan and then tie your arm to the arm next to you. And then we'll all be joined together by our jumper or cardigan arms. If you're not wearing a jumper or a cardigan, well, you'll just have to link arms with the person next to you. But let's see if we can all join up like a big, long rope. So pause the video for a moment while you all tie yourselves together. Okay, well done everybody. Are you all tied up in one big long rope, just like in the story? Let's pray together. 
Father God, we thank you today for the story of Jeremiah and how he was so faithful to you and you were so faithful to him. And he put his trust in you and he was rescued from that well. As we're all tied up together today, let's remember that we are like tied up to you and that you never leave us and that you always look after us. And even if we feel like we're in a deep, dark well, you will always rescue us. Thank you, Father God. Amen. So don't untie yourselves yet. I'm going to say goodbye first and then don't be too noisy. You can untie yourselves. So bye-bye for now and see you next time. Bye.